Uh, so this is my esoteric hobby. Uh, my name is Charlie Whitney. I'm a programmer and a media artist. And I got a little help from Anna Henson back there between taking care of kids at the city studio. Helped me hack a little. Uh, so the challenge I was looking at is recreating a space launch because a lot of people uh, haven't seen a real life space launch. That's why it's sort of an esoteric hobby. You have to be in the right place, somewhere like Florida, the right time. You gotta like get up early and you have to be interested in space. Uh, it's actually kind of far. So this is a, a measurement from something called Space View Park. Guess what they do there? And uh, this over here is one of the launch pads in Cape Canaveral. And a lot of people, if you think about uh, space launches, this is what you see because these are the photos that NASA puts out. And people get super pumped and they're like, yeah, I love science. Um, but they love the exciting parts of science. And science is interesting and fascinating and a lot of the interesting things happen in the minutia. And so space launches really look much more like this. Uh, so I wanted to do something kind of fun to let people see a space launch the way most of us would see it in real life. And to be excited about that too, because it is exciting. So my uh, solution was to build a realistic launch simulator. What I did was I built a script where you can drop any latitude and longitude, and thanks to Google Maps uh, with their 360 cameras, I would grab a front, back, left, right, up, down, squares and I would create a photo cube that I would put you inside of. So quick script grabs this and puts you inside of a sphere that you can look around. So you can look around in 360. We grabbed real audio from actual launches of people uh, putting it up on YouTube so you can listen to a real launch. Uh, and you can have as many spectators as you want. And what I mean by this is the number one tool of the person watching a uh, space launch is your binoculars. So we've made a, a binocular app um, with your smartphone. And the way this works is that I'm going to start a, anybody in the world can start a launch. And this could be NASA, this could be anybody. Uh, and they give out the web address and anybody on their mobile phone can go to the web address and join that launch in real time. So I'm gonna show you guys the demo really quick. So here I have a, uh, this is, there's, there's no launch right now because I haven't put one in, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start one. And the way I start one, is I'm gonna do a Saturn V launch. This is the one that I programmed in. So here I am. This is a photo cube that was grabbed from Google Maps. This is Space View Park back here. I got a pretty good spot, because no one else is here. You can see I grabbed it off of Google Maps because it has all these nice little things in the corner that don't go away. And I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, I feel like Bob Barker. Uh, but there he is, a space shuttle right here. That's how big a space shuttle actually is. So this is a Saturn V rocket. Whoa. Uh, it is 111 meters tall, uh, but you wouldn't know it. So at the same time, what I'm gonna do is I have my IP, this is running on a Node.js server on my computer. I have the IP of my computer, and I'm going to go to it on my smartphone. There we go, I now have the same thing here. And now these are linked. And so because I went to uh, slash Saturn V on this, as many people in the world as they want can join my Saturn V launch. And these are synced up, so now I'm going to hit the launch button on this. And at the same time, see little puffs of smoke starting to come out. This is happening in real time on my smartphone as well. So you can be looking through and get a slightly closer view if you're watching through your binoculars. And that is a realistic space launch. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. And then did you get the sounds from the babysitting area? Is that what I was like? <laughs> I really wanted, uh, I wanted to grab some of the kids and have them record some sounds like, Dad, why would you send me out here? I'm <laughs> bored. <laughs> Do we have any questions? Uh, what, uh, yeah. Was the rocket done with the 3.js library? Was there rocket? Sorry. Was there rocket uh, animation done with the 3.js library? Yeah, all done in 3 JS. Uh, I just programmed it on my own using visuals uh, just to match some YouTube videos that I saw. 
Uh, and that was, there's actually a, a pretty high-res image of a Saturn V rocket. Not that you can see it, but uh, <laughs> you can program in any number of those. And by going to different URLs, you can simulate different launches. And with cheap 360 cameras, there's no reason NASA couldn't do a live stream, too. All right, thank you. Any more questions here? We're good? All right, thanks. Thank you. Robert on the spot for, uh, for voting. Yeah, perfect.